Right Light City gonna set my soul on fire. Welcome to Las Vegas, the entertainment capital of the world and home to the running rebels of UNLV. Today, these two teams square off in what should be an exciting Mountain West showdown. As we'll see, the Boise State Broncos taking on the UNLV Rebels. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. And the Broncos will boot it away to start the game. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So UNLV's offense takes the field for the first time today. And here comes this quarterback. When he takes the field, he brings a certain swagger and charisma out there that the entire, not only the entire team, the entire stadium seems to feed off of. You can feel it. It's different. It's special. Uh, guys like this don't come around very often, but he makes the whole team better, but the belief is strong because he continues to make plays and be their first team every time they need it. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work upfield and get the first down. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. The option look. Runs through the tackle. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. Going for the big play. And the pass is incomplete. Charged loose by the hit. Love the physicality of this secondary on defense. That defender got to the football, was able to separate the receiver from the ball, and did it legally. Beautiful job. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. To the air. It's Sluka. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And it's intercepted! A turnover for the defense. All right, good news. The game just got started. There's still a lot of football left to play. The bad news is, though, you've already now turned it over and handed the defense an interception. Quarterback's going to have to be more dialed in with his decision-making in this game. On first down, here comes this offense. Running back searching for a hole. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Single back formation, and they give it to him. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. From the gun, wants to pass. Moving, keeping the eyes downfield. Still on his feet at the 45. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. I mean, these quarterbacks nowadays can run so fast. Think about who you've got chasing them. Defensive linemen, those big old defensive tackles, defensive ends, linebackers. They can't catch him because they're faster than them nowadays. So much speed, so much electricity now with these guys. Takes the handoff. It's Genty. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. 
Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. To the ground with the back. They went right back to him, and he went right back down. It's going to be third and ten. You've got to have that defense you know you can go to in running situations. Your base defense where you say, okay, this is where I'm going to start, and I'm going to stop the run, stuff it up front. My guys play big up front. And if I need to add some blitzes to it later on down the road, I can. But great job in the base defense making a play. Back to pass. It's Nelson. Quarterback adapted. Trying to make magic on the scramble. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and it has been a defensive battle, and the stats tell the tale so far. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. The Broncos are on the move. They'll run it. It's Genty. Ran through the contact. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. Listen, defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy in the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. What could have been set up in a long yard situation, now it becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him on the ground. Now he's looking to throw it. Makes the grab. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last. And to the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Broncos! Well, 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 somebody's been doing their box jumps. You ain't lying. Getting up in the air. Hey, listen, I'm taking a picture of that, saving it. That might be my screensaver on my phone. That vertical way up in the air. PAT unit on the field. And the PAT makes it 7-0. So the touchdown drive goes 63 yards. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. UNLV ready to go back to work on offense. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive day. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with this system. Got six on first down, now a lot of options on second and four. They'll keep it on the ground. Picks his way ahead, pick up a three, and gets it to the 20-yard line. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. This is the type of play that can give the offense momentum, third and short from inside the 20. They'll run the option. Keeps the legs moving. And what moves this guy has. The jukes, the wiggles, the squirts just went right past him and picked up the first down. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. The Rebels with the first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Pressure coming. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Well, this defense felt coming into the game that if he was going to try to throw from the pocket, they could get to him and affect his accuracy, and they did on that last play. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. 
Scanning the field, it's Luka. Fires to the middle. He's got an open man. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. That wide receiver on the outside is dangerous. When you're playing zone coverage, it's really hard because you're not chasing him. You can't really get hands on him. you got to make sure you send more guys his direction. Maybe slide those linebackers toward that wide receiver so you got a little more help on the outside. He'll come out throwing on first down. Fires one high and deep. And the ball is caught. He's inside the 35. Touchdown, Rebels! And once he got away from the D, they had no shot at catching him. Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man. And we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. We trailed a little bit in the first half. Stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. Getting set for the point after. And it's up and good. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they closed the deal with a 58-yard touchdown pass. After that latest answer, tied things up. Just about set to kick it away again. On the move from inside is five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Caught near the sticks. It's Genty. They'll immediately call timeout. Man, a great job by the QB finding the running back, get him the football where he can do some damage after the catch, and most importantly, get the first down. Trying to find his man on first down. Fires to the big fella. And he might be known for one pitch, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. To throw, it's Nelson. Complete to the left. And a big time grab there. Knocked down immediately, but not before he gets it to the 40. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. He makes the catch close to the sticks, but he'll be a little short of the first down. Well, when you're throwing these out routes, guys, it's location, location, location. So QB, you've got to put that out in front of your guy so he can make the catch. You put that behind him, that might be getting picked. Nice job there by the QB. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Quickly out to the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. This tight end just creates matchup problems no matter how you try to defend him. How about the catch radius on him, too? So as a quarterback, you don't have to be perfect when throwing it to him. You just got to get it somewhere in his vicinity, and he can come up with the catch. Comes out throwing on first down. Quickly complete. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Well, that's great timing by the quarterback and receiver on that out route. If you're going to be running that against man coverage like they were there, that ball has to be thrown early, and it's got to be thrown out in front of the receiver, and they execute it perfectly. Down to the 16-yard line. It's first and 10. From the red zone, looking for a space. Give him six. Touchdown, Broncos. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, heat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. On to attempt the try. Extra point. 
And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they close the deal with a 16-yard throw for the touchdown. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. And he's going to bring it out. And the returner goes down. Guys, the running Rebels offense ready to go back to work. Now you find out just how much of a gunslinger you are. Will you roll the dice here late in the half, David? And you know the defense is going to be really, really conservative. So I think it's an opportunity to be able to take a shot, see how much of a chunk you can get before then you decide really, Jesse, how you want to finish the half. You just can't turn it over and throw a pick if you're the quarterback here. You have got to be so smart if you're going to be aggressive with your decision making. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys, a delightful first two quarters of football there today in Vegas. And we'd be remiss if we didn't start this halftime report by acknowledging the sparkling play of this tight end. The guy's like an aircraft carrier out there as a blocker. And then when he releases and shows off that speed and route running, he's almost unguardable. Gotta believe he won't be able to go anywhere in this second half without someone attached to his hip. And with that, let's send it back to the fellow. Line up to kick off and start the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Boise State ready to send out that offense. They'll keep it on the ground to start the second half. Really good job to pick up a chunk of yardage and get it out to the 39-yard line. In halftime in this locker room, there was a lot of positive things to talk about. You got the lead, but you know what else will be positive, Palmer? Get the running game going early in this second half. You're absolutely right here, and I think this coaching staff is going to try to put this game on the offensive line a little bit. Let these guys take this thing over, be physical, and push this defense around. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. And the big tight end, a lot of times that's a bigger strike zone, a bigger dude, and you can tell they put the hit on him, and that ball came out, and it came to the turf. Nice job playing physical by this defense. Bunch formation trying to confuse the secondary. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. Fires to the middle. A strike downfield. He found plenty of room, and he gets it to the 39-yard line. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. And the Broncos in the hurry up. Here's the handoff. Aaron is trying to flex the muscle. They get him down at the 34 after a pickup of four. Small gain, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass, make him out of the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Back to throw. It's Nelson. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Looked like the offense had a chance for a big play there, but the running back just could not reel that ball in. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. The play action fake. Using his feet to buy time. And he is corralled short of the line to gain. Well, it's a really nice job there on that third down, trying to get after this quarterback. And obviously, they're not able to make the play in the backfield, but really nice job pursuing. You see the athleticism and the speed they have, how they play as a unit together. Only giving up a little bit of a gain and now setting up fourth down. They'll try to put three on the board as the field goal unit comes on. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And they'll push that lead out a little further.
After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The UNLV offense ready to return to the field. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops while we're getting the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. From the shotgun, they'll run it. On the move at the 30. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. Hand off from the gun. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. They tried to run the counter, but absolutely nothing doing. And those counter plays take a little longer to develop sometimes. You're usually pulling one or two guys, and that penetration in the backfield can kill you, can get to the running back before he gets started. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. It's a nice game, but the big theme here is they just haven't been able to get the run game going on offense. They've been very one-dimensional, and they're just not being physical enough at the point of attack. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. That's the end of the quarter, and Boise State has the lead. They're sitting in a strong position here with the lead. Let's take a look at our game summary. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. They're bringing heat. Get it out on the screen. Turns it on in midfield. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Well, trailing like they are right now in the fourth quarter, their execution offensively is just going to have to be at a premium. You can't afford a lot of incompletions at this point. Everybody is going to need to be on the same page moving forward. The Rebels are moving quickly down the field. Quick pass on the fly motion. Inside the 35. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. How many ways can I get it to my guys who can fly, who are playmakers, and let them make big plays? This is another one you've seen. Catch the football, flip it ahead really quickly, get it to a burner, go in full speed across the formation. He gets the edge, makes the big play. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. Got it in the middle. It's Thompson. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. And quarterback dropping back, understanding I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Not much room. He gets one down to the seven. Yeah, and you see in the red zone, all the bodies start to come inside. And a lot of times you try to find a way to get to the perimeter. This offense does a good job. They toss the football. Nice job by the defense. Now forcing a third down. And the Rebels racing to the line in the hurry up. They're going to go to the air on third and short. And that's incomplete, a defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground, fourth down coming up. Third and short in college football today. You see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. Splits the uprights right down the middle.
They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. He kept those legs moving, got three out to the 19. Yeah, and a nice job by this defense. This is critical moment, right? We got to get the football back. They're backed up, thank goodness. Force a punt here, get the football back so we can make some magic here in this fourth quarter. Clock continues to run, and they'll be happy to wind it all the way down before they snap it. Back to the ground with the running back. Just gets it to the 28 pickup of one. And ball security at this point is at a premium for this offense. You're backed up in your own end. You've got the lead, so you want to be able to run the football and stay on the field, bleed the clock. But you know the defense is going to be ripping away at it, right? They're going to be trying to get hats to the football and forcing a fumble. So whoever's got the ball has got to have two hands on it this drive. This is a big third down. If they can move the chains, they can just about salt this game away. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. The Broncos send out the punt unit. The punters have had the day off up to this point. First one of the game. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. UNLV ready to go back to work on offense. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. You got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Line getting set on second down. Looking to throw, it's Sluka right down the middle. It's caught downfield. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Yeah, and you've seen these curl routes. This is a timing route. Understand the ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top of that curl. Nice job by the QB finding him. Nice catch. Here comes the offense on first and 10 from the 47. And he just overshot his man and threw it out of bounds, incomplete. Well, I know it hasn't been a tremendous day statistically for this quarterback, but his decision-making has been good enough to win this game. Hasn't thrown a lot of TDs so far, but when things aren't open, he throws it away like on that play right there. He's not putting his team in a bad spot, and that's why they still have a shot to walk out of here with a W. This time it's complete. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. Now this defense could really use a stop on third down as the offense has had its way. They want to just keep throwing it. Grab near the marker, it's Thompson. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. He's going to pass. Makes the grab down the middle. Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find a rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw. And you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here on game day. Clock's running, and they'll try to get to the line. Warp speed for second down. Trying to wear down this defense, a seventh play of the drive, it's third and one. Looking to throw for it. Fires to the wideout. 
It's caught. And he gets out of bounds to stop the clock. They've got a first down. They're in plus territory, and they've got a chance to win the game. What a great individual effort here in this two-minute situation. He makes the catch in the middle of the field. He knows he's got to find a way to stop the clock. The only way to do that is to get out of bounds. He uses his speed and his vision, and he's able to elude the defense to save some time. They're looking to pass from the red zone. Timeout called by the offense. 24 seconds left on the clock. Well, it's been a little bit of a seesaw here the last two plays. Offense gets a chunk play, and then the defense gets a sack. Great job by the defense there, turning the page and coming up with the big one. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. Man, this late in the game, it's go time. I got to have a score. I'm not worried about downs. I'm going through my two-minute script. We know what's coming. We've practiced this all week. It's second down, incomplete pass, go to third down. We need to go for it on fourth down. This offense just has to keep that high energy up and try to run these plays fast. Coming after it. After that incompletion, there is so much pressure now on this quarterback to come up with a big play. They need to score a touchdown. They need to keep this drive alive to have any shot at winning this game. But it all comes down to this play right here. Trailing by a touchdown, this fourth down opportunity is gargantuan. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. And the quarterback takes a knee. 